everybody, Prejudice Fanboy here again, and today we are reviewing Studio Ghibli, the Studio Ghibli film, The Wind Rises. I highly recommend this movie. Um, this is one of the, um, I think this is one of or the only um, Studio Ghibli film yet that is based on that is heavily based on somewhat heavily based on a true story. Um, I I really enjoy the main character and how he's willing to help out and put the needs of other people ahead of his own. Um, I really enjoyed that, and and I really enjoy like the theme and message of like helping others and putting others before you. I really enjoyed that theme of this movie. Um, I highly recommend it. It's probably one of my is not my favorite and fa is not one of my favorite anime films and if not my most favorite it is one of my favorite anime films um and there were I, I ran um and there's some um, and I wanted to read you some passages that talked about, like, priorities and, and stuff that I found really interesting. Um, please turn your Bible to, um, Matthew chapter 5, verse 24, and we're reading... Through thirty four. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate one or love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to one. To the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and Mammon. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what what you'll eat, what you will eat, or what you will drink, nor about your your body, what you will put on. It is it not life more than food and body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable? Are you not of more value? more value than then than they which of you by worrying can add one cubit of his stature so why do you worry about clothing consider the lilies uh, consider the lilies of the field how they grow they neither toil nor spin and yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like like one of these. Now in have gone so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven. Will he not much more clothe you? O oh, you of little faith, therefore do not worry, saying, 
What shall we eat? For after all these things, the the uh, Gentiles seek for you, for your heavenly Father knows what you need. All these things, but seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Um, two, two lines from the movie that... Uh, Heavily stuck out to me, which it kind of reminds me of somewhat of the um the uh not loving, not serving to masters thing. Um was um. When he said, like, she leaves that he would be going with her. When, uh, he, like, before, um, around the same time she got married, around the same time, uh, the main character and his, his fiance got married, um, and then the other line that really stuck out to me was um, the analogy that was used by Kropoli, like the quote he said when um, that um, that to um, that planes weren't made for war and and stuff. I just thought that was an interesting line and kind of could be an analogy for like our skills given to us by God and stuff and things like that. Um, and then I am. Um, I wanted to close out with um, Romans um, um Romans 12 verses 1 through through 2. Um, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God which is your reasonable service. And do not be conform, conformed to his word, world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And with that being said, may God be with you, and see you next time. Bye.